So the husband employees will have full medical? Uh, full time employees will have medical. What the benefits are right now, I have not right. What's the ratio of full time and part time? We want to primarily full time because there is significant training that's involved and we can't afford that time. Are you going to build the facility with union labor? Yes. Okay. Sure. Are you going to sign up you know, a project labor agreement with the, with, the, uh, with the area trades in the area? Uh, I know that I have to sign a developer's agreement with Gloucester City. The balance of the contracts, we're, we're too early on to say exactly who those agreements will be. I mean, we're still in the early stage. But I can't give you like, all the specifics at this time. I think this lady in the green, I don't know your name, but you mentioned a couple of schools, and I think I would like to hear what your concerns are. My, how many, my name is Maggie Gorman. How many trucks do you have, the ones that you described? Uh, we have of the collection style, we have one of the collection style, and three of the trailer style right now, and we would probably put a couple more on. Uh, those trucks in the wall of New Jersey right now, and those trucks would be parked in our base in the outside. And they're all commission trucks. Yes. Well, we but, so the, the trucks, the majority of the trucks, will probably not be low emission. Um, I can't answer that. I'm going to assume that there's more older than more newer, but all the new ones have to be the low emission stuff. And you said how many trucks do you rest in a day? We're saying 25 trucks a day. <coughs> what are your hours of operation? Probably seven to three. Seven to three. Seven, to seven a.m. to three p.m. Three p.m. Three p.m. Three p.m. So that's the three trucks. trucks. There will there be trucks done before seven or after three? No. Go ahead, man. You said you're going to utilize all five entrances into Gloucester City? The well, five truck routes into Gloucester? Yeah, we have a, a lot of our materials coming from Camden County and Williamsport. So I, it's hard to say exactly where it's going to come from because we're going to, we do some business in Camden County right now, but our goal is if we're successful through the president process, we want to do all of our business. Because we don't want our trucks driving 100 miles, we want to drive 10. Yeah. So I, I can't say exactly which route is going to be the most used or least route used. I don't know yet. Because this specific part of Gloucester, you pretty much have to go past schools through neighborhoods. Why not in North Gloucester, closer to Camden, on a truck route, instead of bringing trucks past the schools and 7 to 3 bus stops, the kids are going to be out. And if you're coming through every section of the city, the kid, they're going to be near the schools. Are you suggesting, like, say, King Street is coming from Camden down? Okay, that, yeah. Somewhere's closer than there. Camden. Camden's to Water Street. King Street to Water King Street. Street to Water. I'm saying if it's in North Camden, which already has a truck route, which is already right off the highway, it would I mean, make more sense. That's the only route they were allowed to use, would that be acceptable? Well, I would, as a resident, I would say not, because why are we developing the waterfront to bring trucks? Through well, obviously, with waste. it was more of an industrial area than coming down Market Street but the master, and coming up Jersey Avenue. Right, but the master plan for Gloucester is that that is our center now. That's We're developing the waterfront for entertainment and activity. Why would we then bring solid waste through that section when we can keep it in an area that's not. I'm not it seems, this seems like an awesome idea. It seems like a great facility. Everything seems to check out. The location doesn't seem to make sense that you would bring it in to the south. To bring, to bring traffic through every part of the city instead of putting it in a section that's close to a truck route. You know, in a perfect world, we would only be the pink was one of the Not a person in hot place. Not a, not a whole lot of space in Jersey left to pick and choose where you want to go. But there is space up there. We, when I tell you, we look all over the place. There's not a whole lot of buildable area where we can locate. Now, we do have other development sites in Central Jersey. We're looking at other areas. This seemed to be ideally suited. It's been vacant for a very long time. It's in need of redevelopment. It's a brownsville site. It was an industrial. When we're talking about 25 trucks, and again, I'll just use averages, if you have five routes, 25 trucks, if you use trucks per hour, you're a truck every hour and 15 minutes, roughly. I think it's hard to even see and say, I think there was an extra truck in that last hour that came down the street. You have trucks right now, you have trash trucks <laughs> on the streets. If I put two more per hour, I don't think you'd ever notice. So we're, we're, our goal is But the to problem is we already trucks. have a lot of trucks. You're saying we won't notice. Of course we won't notice. We have a lot of trucks going through already. It's limiting it is my concern and... You said most of it's coming from the north, so if most of the waste is coming from the north, why not move it closer to where well, it's I'm coming from? I'm making that assumption based on today. Uh, Our goal is to work as close to the 
plan to touch this ridge as we possibly can. I can't tell you exactly where it's going to be sprayed up. I, I just don't know. Well, my questions are only bouncing off of what no, I heard from you. We're, so. we're, as, we're as conscious of truck traffic, not only for the same reason that you have, but we want to minimize the risk fewer trucks means the higher efficiency, which means the more popular we are. We want the least amount of trucks. That means the trucks are maximized, they're efficient, mileage is down. So our goal is to have as few trucks on the streets as, as for the, almost the same reason as you do. So we want to keep it to a minimum as well. Can I interject there for just a moment? I think it's important, and I think it's important for consideration in general when you're, this does look like a really ideal thing. It's the kind of thing that people who work in the environment and who are activists really want to promote, we want to see changes that are positive changes. Uh, I do still have some questions, some of the emissions, but I too am very concerned about that truck traffic. And I think it's important to understand that Gloucester City is already uh, disproportionately impacted by pollution within the region, not coming from Camden, coming from Philadelphia, coming from other areas. This town lies directly underneath a trash burning incinerator that has a host, a host of really bad uh, pollutants, carcinogens, upper respiratory irritants, neurological uh, irrit you know, problems that, uh, pollutants that cause neurological problems. So, so it, to you it might seem like 15 or 20 months isn't a lot, but when you have a lot of kids with asthma, uh, a lot of adults as well, but we're talking about schools and truck and that kind of thing, those hours of operation are a concern and where those trucks go are a real serious concern for individuals who live in this community and for the kids that go to school. And I'm wondering if, as this moves along, you're looking at the efficiency, you know, gas efficiency, wear and tear on trucks, that kind of thing. And I think there needs to be a balance, and I think public health has to come first, because that also is a big cost. And it's a big cost to all of us when we have to take care of the health of our kids and, and you know, whether we're paying for health care, whether we're paying for the public uh, domain. So, Maybe there's a way, I, I'm wondering if there's a way that, that there could be a small uh, citizen group that could work with you as you start to, as this evolves and you try to figure out what is the best route. Okay, it might take this truck five more minutes to go around that area where there were schools, but in the long term it may be beneficial, would probably definitely be beneficial to the community, to the health of the community. And I think, you know, you're looking at doing something that's a good thing, you're trying to do it in a way that is positive and healthy for the environment. And it has to be healthy all the way. It has to be a general oh, I agree. Know, positive health impact. You know, someone said, this route works better than five minutes out of the way. Five minutes a day is insignificant. That's a good brain decision. So I have no issue if people say, this is the better route that makes sense for everybody. The impact is also insignificant. Because it's not that we're driving 100 miles out of the way. We're driving, like I said, five minutes. So you're, you're prepared to reach an agreement with the city, uh, both Brook Lawn and Gloucester City, as to the best way, the best truck routes if possible to your facility. I, I think it's important that Brook Lawn and Gloucester City and myself sit down and they determine where the best routes for both Barrow and City. But that has to have citizen involved. I understand oh, I'm just sorry to my citizens, but I no, think no, the is both communities. I'm sorry, both communities. Well, I, when I said from one closely, I, I'm expecting that the elected officials, those two communities, are representative of their I citizens. Understand. That's why they're elected, and I'm sure they will be. Specified truck routes is not an issue. Okay. And I still need a citizen. There should be some citizen input. I understand that citizens elect officials, but I think the officials in Gloucester City, for instance, have already agreed to this, and and so uh, and and I'm sure they've thought of all of this, but look at you know what would be. Uh, this will be the positive thing we want to be able to move forward, that kind of thing. And, and I, I think that with the system, they just need help carrying their money bags in. Balance uh, and compromise that will make people who live in the neighborhoods and whose kids are going to school feel comfortable. Uh, and you have a little bit of oversight at that, you know, the ability to have a little oversight just to make sure that things are going the way they should be, the odors aren't there, the emissions aren't there. You know, it's, it's great to put this stuff up and we all love it, it's wonderful, but we've all experienced this kind of thing and then the end result, and the end result is oftentimes very negative and not what you see on the picture. Well, the end result is 